Today we have the privilege of speaking with an experienced female footballer who is not only excelling on the field but also making a profound impact off the pitch. She not only embodies excellence in the sport but also dedicates her time and expertise to empowering the next generation of female athletes with her MPWR Girls Football Camp. Welcome Phoenicia for Brown. Good morning, SK yes. and Felicia. Good morning. Happy you could join us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're certainly welcome. So, Felicia, let's dive right into the conversation. Um, the story. Can you share with us the story behind the creation of this camp? Yes. So, the Empire Girls Football Camp was created by myself and Brittany Lawrence, another um, Kitsune national player. Uh, we decided to create the camp because we wanted to create an environment where um, young girls can experience and be introduced to the sport in a fun and challenging environment. Um, so this was during COVID that we came up with this. Um, so we'd be on video calls just trying to brainstorm different ways of getting uh, younger girls in St. Kitts and Nevis to experience the game that we love. Um, and just to give them space to explore it on their own and just have fun playing the game. And so we said we would do this one week camp one year just to create, create the buzz, create the um, environment for them to come out and just play the game. And uh, last year we had the first one and it was a very fun time. So we're looking forward to having it again, uh, starting next week. Mm -hmm. Nice. Interesting, interesting. And I must also ask uh, Felicia the name because introducing, I said MPWR, but looking back, it stands for Empower. Yes. <laughs> right? It's yeah. very creative. Who came up with that name? Yeah. <laughs> I love the creativity. Yeah. Brittany and I did. Um, as you know, we had a lot of time during COVID. Yes. We were stuck at home. So we did had a lot of time to brainstorm, think about. Um, what we wanted to express with with our camp and just what we wanted to share with other female athletes and girls that were interested in playing. So I was saying we chose the theme empowering girls through football um, because there's so much more to football to this um, that girls will be able to experience just by playing. Um, and right. there's a lot off the field as a experience um, as a player. Mm -hmm. I was able to pursue my education at the highest level. Um, mm -hmm. I was able to build a lot of relationships and friendships that I know will last a lifetime. Um, and there are just so many skills that you learn through the game, whether it be smart, determination, um, just a competent female uh, that you take throughout your life, whether it's playing football after you're done playing football um, in the workforce, just moving through life in a confident manner um i think what gives you that experience and it's just something that i have cherished and one of the reasons i'm still playing still um a part of the sport because it's you definitely gain skills that you wouldn't otherwise so oh, very well that's said. why we decided to Mm -hmm. So, Girls. Felicia, I would like to ask, where in St. Kitts are you originally from? And when you left St. Kitts, is it that you left on a football scholarship since you are speaking so highly of it and the places that it would have gotten you thus far? Uh, I lived in Lodge, in Lodge Project. My mm -hmm. dad is from Lodge, I'm from Molly. Um so we lived in Lodge, moved to the U.S. when I was seven years old. Okay, okay. Um, so, went to school. so been in New Jersey for a while, and we would go back home every summer. Um, and then I went to college uh, as a student athlete. I was actually a walk-on, which starting off, I didn't have a scholar, but I was able to join the team Okay. Um, after I got in. So... Yeah, and then I gained a scholarship later on in my college career. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So you worked hard for your scholarship. Good stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> and very well deserved yes. indeed um so finish let's talk a little bit about the camp details itself um what age range do you specifically target what are the age range for these girls we are targeting uh girls ages 5 through 16 um oh. yeah here in the u.s players start playing from the age of four or five so oh. we just want to open up the opportunity to anyone that's interested young old we just want to open up the space for um any girls that are interested and it's good to start at a young age because you get to start working on your skills at a younger a younger age and you'll be better later on in life so yeah good stuff yeah. let's talk about the registration pro process and the start and end date of the camp before we continue yep so um anyone that's interested can register at empower football and pwr football.com okay um there's a registration 50 EC and we start on July 10th. It's running until Friday, July 14th at Flow Grounds. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And the outcome of the what do you hope to achieve from out of this girls scam? What's the outcome you expect to achieve? Our our goal is to create that spark and um, interest in the sport so that girls are wanting to get better at football, mm -hmm. wanting to keep playing the game. Um, hopefully there'll be more opportunity for girls to play football throughout St. Kitts and Nevis. Um, the goal is to be able to have a more, um, more running op options and opportunities for girls to play throughout the year um, so that they can continue playing the sport that they love and just getting more and more girls out there um, with the hope that national, even national programs um, can continue to thrive on the international scene um, and just develop the sport throughout St. Kitts and Nevis. Nice, nice. What are some of the skills that will be taught during uh, this camp and also how will you and the others that are in charge ensure that it is a safe, inclusive environment for all the girls attending, regardless of their skill level? Yes, so last year we definitely had a range of uh, experience versus beginner mm -hmm. athletes. Um, our goal is to, we're not only introducing uh, girls to the sport, but we're also using national team players, uh, female national team players to expose them to teaching the game to others. Mm -hmm. um, so we had seven national team players uh, and one former national team player as opposed last year. Um, and we split the groups into, we split the, the girls by age and also by skill level so that each player felt like they were getting the attention that they needed and being challenged if they were more experienced. So with a coaching staff of seven to eight, um, we're able to oversee everyone and make sure everyone is feeling seen and okay. getting the, the um, okay. technical. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Um, Fisha, you just mentioned coaching staff. Do you mind um, shout out or sending some shout out to those other coaching staff who would have made the tournament possible also take the time out to send shout out to them <laughs> yes um i'll try to get everybody so uh, <laughs> it was Brittany lawrence the other one who started um the camp with me we had kishanta mills lenicia batiste uh, minions and i marshall kuzi Tarvia Phillip, I'm saying both names here. <laughs> um, Atlantis, Shonda Wilkinson. Um, am I forgetting anyone? We had Kijel and Kamala helping out with registration. Um, Diane Brown helping out with a lot of things going on through camp. Uh, Judith Gums. Um, 
Yeah. yeah and we had uh, people come out to just give speeches um, to engage the girls and tell them a little bit more about football nice. off the field. Nice. Yeah. And, uh, it's you- awesome. And you would have met, you would have also mentioned that uh, you started the camp during COVID, but last year, 2022, you have your first official successful camp. Yeah. Right. First, first one. So right. We so, were planning in twenty. Right. So can you give us some feedback? What was the feedback like from the participants last year? What was the general feedback like? Uh the girls loved it. Um I had we had girls that didn't want to leave the mm-hmm. field, but <laughs> they were excited to come back. Uh yeah, I mean they had a great time and yeah, they enjoyed the time and are looking forward to coming back this year. So, Awesome, awesome. And uh, when it comes to assistance, do you encourage, um, let's say, corporate St. Kitts and Nevis to come on board when it comes to sponsorship? Or is it, um, what do you say, a not NGO type of camp? Or would you need assistance from corporate St. Kitts and Nevis? Yes, yeah, so we we do need assistance. Um, we've gotten assistance from uh, a lot of companies and St. Kids that I've reached out to just to um, see if they'd be interested in helping us out. So we have some support from uh, the SKCCU, the Corporate Union, um, TDC. Uh, Flo is assisting with the field this year. Um, the SKNFA Ministry of Sport, Cable. We've reached out to oh, a nice. bunch of um, companies, Farm Pair, just to get some support, and they've responded well and been helping, um, just helping with the funds going forward, just to make sure that it's accessible to as many girls as possible um, and keep the registration costs um, a little on the low side for now. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah gotten some support in seeing it which is appreciated um and yeah we look forward to having having a great camp this summer do you come with support from the u.s as well do you have any sponsors that assist you with this camp yes so um in the u.s i have a few places that um for example ap2t where i train Mm -hmm. um regularly when i'm at um, we have the St. Kitts and Nevis uh, diaspora in Toronto. Okay. Um, our both nice colleges are helping out with just some gear and stuff nice. uh, that the girls would be able to get. Yeah. Um, yeah, people are definitely willing to help out and just help us in creating that space that we're looking to do for the girls. I like that. Let's talk about the recruiting services, the PMLB. Do they come with you to these camps or 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 do you take uh, back video and show it to them and then they decide who they are going to sponsor? Um, so PMLB recruiting is just uh, a service to assist uh, athletes and syndicates that are interested in attending university abroad. Mm-hmm. Um, so if players are interested, we just kind of help them through the process of applying to schools, reading out to schools, because it is a long and hard process. Um, so we just kind of provide that support mm-hmm. to help them hopefully achieve what they're looking to do. Mm. Yes. Very well said, Farisha. And as we wrap, Farisha, um, any advice do you have for young girls who want to take on football? Because we, we would have seen rather what football have done for yourself and your career so can you share some advice or encouragement for young girls who may be interested in pursuing football as a career any words of advice yeah i mean for me football is a, it's a beautiful game it's brought me so much so for me i just say go for it um i know it's seen as just a boy or men's sport Um, but there's so much opportunity and so much growth going on in women's football right now. Um, I think it's something that 
will change your life and just it's changed mine and i know um it's something you should go for and just keep pushing keep working you're gonna get a lot of no's from people saying that you're not good enough wow. i've gotten a lot of no's saying that i'm not good enough but the thing is you never give up and you just keep believing in yourself keep working and you'll you'll get to where you want to get to so, as, yeah. we cl- as we close what are your expectations for uh, this year's camp since it's it's since it's the second installment second installment we mm-hmm. are just hoping to have more participants um yeah we're just hoping to have more participants we're no we know it's going to be a fun time again i'm spending a week with my teammates teaching others the game teaching young girls that are uh, looking up to us i know that they're there are players looking up to us because they want to be footballers and professional footballers in the future. So it's just the time to have fun, uh, have fun in the game. And yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. And hopefully a lot of girls come out this year.